Okay, um, hello everyone, welcome to the new video. So we are going to talk about the Infosys latest recruitment pattern in this video. So we were in constant touch with Infosys and we were, you know, kind of asking them that, okay, is there any change in the last year's pattern and this year pattern? Because we were thinking that, yes, they may not have changed the syllabus for the last or the pattern from the last six years, but we were thinking because of lockdown and, and all of these things, they may change it this year and which is something that has happened. Infosys has updated their recruitment process and the test pattern. So we'll talk about that particularly in this video, right? So if I talk about the previous syllabus, so the syllabus has been upgraded. So whatever was the previous syllabus or the previous pattern, that kind of remains the same. There are two sections essentially that have been added, right? So first of all, there would be 54 questions in the test and the time given to you would be 100 minutes, right? So if I talk about individual sections, uh, I'm sure that you would be able to see it on the right hand side of mine. There are five sections. The first section being reasoning ability, which was also there last year. Uh, uh, in the reasoning ability, there are 15 questions and the time is 25 minutes. Uh, then you have mathematical ability, which was basically, which is basically quants, right? Or aptitude, right? So which has 10 questions and the time is, uh, 35 minutes, which was there also last year, right? Uh, verbal ability, which has 20 questions and the time given is 20 minutes, which was again also last year. It is just that the time has been reduced for this section, however, right? And then there are two new sections that have been included. That is uh, pseudo code. So in case of pseudo code, there are five questions and 10 minutes. And then further one last section, new section that is puzzle solving in which you would be having four questions and then the time given to you would be 10 minutes, right? So that is the update in the pattern. The exam will be held on uh, would be hosted on InfiTQ, which is an internal platform. It is the same platform which in which Infosys uh, was hosting their exam last year. So, you know, the pre we think that there would be a slight repetition in the questions from previous years to this year also. And then since there are two new sections, so, you know, the, these would be the first time when we'll be seeing this uh, these sections. But anyways, the prime video courses of Prep Insta have been updated just recently. Right. Uh, so we've updated it for pseudocode as well and puzzle solving as well. Uh, in fact, yesterday we did so. Right. OK, so talking about the first section that is reasoning ability or that is logical ability in general, there are 15 questions and 25 minutes. Now, uh, Infosys also released a sample paper as well. Uh, so if you don't have it, uh, what, what we'll do is we'll share that sample paper on our WhatsApp groups and our Telegram groups. So make sure that you join them. Uh, now, there's one wrong thing that I've seen on the internet. I've seen one video which says that the syllabus for reasoning ability is only three topics. That is data interpretation, data sufficiency and deductive reasoning. And they are saying that each topic will have five questions and five. Uh, so basically five into three is equals to 15. Now, this is not true. Uh, why they are saying so is because uh, they have checked the sample paper that Infosys has given. And in that sample paper, there were only three topics, right? It's not true. There are total 10 topics, uh, 10, 11 topics in the logical reasoning paper, uh, which I'm sure you would be able to see on the right hand side of mine. These people do not know anything about the syllabus, they are not, uh, the, uh, about the pattern or different companies. So I would say that uh, you should not be trusting uh, people who uh, you know spread false information if i generally talk about the whole pattern if you just give me a moment so in the logical reasoning part you have arrangements you have syllogism which is very 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 important uh coding decoding number series uh you would have clocks and calendar you have logical deduction you have data interpretation so all of these are the topics that are really really important not just all of these three topics that they took from those sample paper and they are assuming that okay only these are the three topics that are going to come, right? So uh, it's very wrong for uh, many people to give the wrong pattern to students, right? Okay, so when we talk about the next part of the exam, so you would have your mathematical ability that is aptitude. The time given to you is again 10 minutes, uh, so 10 questions and 35 minutes. Now you see that in 10 questions, they are giving you 35 minutes. The reason is because there's a section called as crypt arithmetic. Now, crypt arithmetic is asked a lot. So in fact, we have seen in the previous times 
there are two to three questions in fact sometimes four questions from crypt arithmetics so which is why crypt arithmetic is very very important for infosys one more thing that we have seen infosys do is sometimes data interpretation questions are part of mathematical ability right and sometimes they are part of uh, reasoning ability so infosys is like okay they have a certain set of topics and they jumble it sometimes in logical part and they jumble it sometimes in the aptitude part same thing is what we've seen with number series right so number series sometimes is the part of mathematical ability or sometimes is the part of uh, logical ability but doesn't matter right we still know the syllabus right so in terms of syllabus if i talk about so even though some, there's some overlap with the logical ability being uh, shifted to mathematical ability so that does not matter the syllabus i'm sure that you can see on the right hand side of mine uh, apart from the other topics that are already there in logical which sometimes comes in mathematical ability you have percentages permutation combination probability area shapes and parameters speed time and distance boats and streams time and work problems on edges number series series and progression lcm hcf divisibility so in this case number series is very very important uh, permutation combinations and uh, uh, probability is very very important uh, so these are the few topics that are important in fact i'll say all of the topics in the aptitude uh, have equal weightage but you know these are three topics that slightly have a little more weightage very slightly right so that's what it is Okay, so coming to the next topic that is verbal ability, you have 20 questions in 20 minutes. Uh, the important topics that there are, the reading comprehension being the most important topics. Topic, I'll say even sometimes it may happen and we've seen in the past, when there were 40 questions, we saw that out of 40, 20 questions were sometimes uh, reading comprehension. Sometimes 10 questions were reading comprehension, sometimes 50. But as much as 20 questions sometimes were reading comprehension. So we are thinking that, okay, this time, if there are 20 questions, so anywhere between 5 to 10 questions may be reading comprehension questions. So that is important. Then the next important topic that I would say here would be critical reasoning. Now, critical reasoning is something that is not asked in other exams but is asked in Infosys and is part of the verbal ability section. Then you have error correction, error identification, fill in the blanks. Basically grammar is essentially what you are having. Spotting error, para jumble, sentence selection, sentence completion. I'm sure that you would be able to see that on the right hand side of mine, right? When we talk about the next important section, you have pseudocode. Uh, so all the previous section had one mark per question, but in the case of pseudocode, you have two mark per question. So there are five questions and the time given to you is 10 minutes. In the sample paper, we have seen that, you know, all the questions were based upon C, but we think, and being also on the safe side, we've also included C++ and DSA courses as well in our Infosys Prime Video courses, just safe side. Uh, because we don't want, because this is the first time the exam is happening on uh, or the exam has pseudocode section. So we don't want our online class or our prime video course student to feel like, okay, if in case these two topics come, that is data structures and C++ or object oriented programming, we don't want them to be feeling like, okay, this is something that was not, we were not prepared for, right? So prepare for the worst case and then give the exam, right? So we think that, okay, definitely C will come, but it is a slight possibility that C and C++, uh, sorry, C++ and data structures may also be there as part of pseudocode as well, as we've seen in Cape Gemini, as we've seen in Accenture already, right? So that is one. The next part again would be puzzle solving. So for puzzle solving, the time is 10 minutes. The number of questions that you have are four. There are two questions of two marks. There are two questions of three marks. So if you add them, it will become 10 marks, right? So, but there are four questions. Uh, and 10 minutes for you to solve right now in this particular case the puzzle solving question we've seen previously being asked in infosys but they were part of the uh, logical reasoning section but now they have created a new section altogether so yes we would have all the previous year papers but then again uh, the number of questions have increased for the puzzle solving part so previously they had asked questions about sudoku uh, they had asked questions about dices so for example if you have a dice what if you open that dice and put it on the piece of paper and then there's a question mark. So based on 3D format of the dice, I'm sure that you would be able to see some questions on the right hand side of mine, right? So puzzle solving section is, was already there in Infosys, 
but it was part of logical reasoning section now they've be, you know created a new section for it altogether and have given it more marks so that is what has essentially happened right so now when we talk about the interview so then again there would be uh, emphasis interviews generally are in two parts that is hr and technical so the hr interview would be the second interview the uh, technical interview would be the first one so in the technical interview emphasis has a uh, a lot of sap so i'm not sure a lot of people would know what is sap so you can go and google sap based applications sap hana sap uh, sap snn so all of these things uh, there's a company called as sap as well which creates a product with the same name infosys uses that product highly so for using sap uh, approximately 30 to 40% people working in infosys work on sap applications you need to know dbms really well you need to know uh, software development life cycle really well and you need to know c++ and uh, uh, c++ really well right so which is why infosys asks a lot of question based on dbms first unlike other companies which have a little slight uh they don't like to ask questions on dbms but infosys likes to ask a lot of questions about dbms as well so i'll say dbms software development life cycle is important uh, apart from that your projects are very important uh, approximately 5 to 10 minutes grilling would be on there and then c and c++ certifications i'll say if you do not have certifications uh, it would be very hard for you to get selected this year i've already always said so in my previous videos also if you are a computer science student and uh, or non computer science it student in the both the cases you should have certification in c c++ java python at least two out of these four languages if you are and dsa as well if you are uh, a computer science student so apart from all of these topics specifically you should also be having certification in machine learning artificial intelligence uh, front end back end uh, website uh, full stack developer all of these things at least one of them in all of these things right so that would make the edge right so in fact certification half 20% of the marks in the infosys uh, interviews as well right so again finally hr interview it's a basic interview wherein they'll check your communication skills your strengths weakness and all of these things right so that's pretty much about the interview process we are thinking that infosys would hire approximately 15 to 20000 people approximately 2 2.5 lakh people may have applied right uh, so that's very important for all of you to see now the next thing here is uh, how do you prepare for it so again as we've already told we have prime video courses and prime mock courses so if you just want to practice the previous year papers of infosys we have prime mock you can buy that we've also included uh, the uh, puzzle section and the pseudo code section as well starting today Uh, apart from that we've also uh, you know in the prime video courses we've also included both of these section in fact as of date uh, our people are shooting those videos and we've already shot many of those videos so even your puzzle solving even your uh, pseudo code is the part of our new online or prime video courses of infosys apart from quants logical english etc etc which for which the syllabus has remained the same it is just that the timing and the number of just the timing has uh, you know changed the number of question also remain the same in uh, logical and quants right in uh, so that is one important thing apart from that we are giving you c c++ and dsa courses free of cost so that you prepare well for your interviews as well if in case they ask you pseudo code based on c++ and dsa as well you'll get na nano degree certifications in them once you complete the course so in, in the interview you can show off your certification as well so that's one way if in case you are let's say saying that okay tcs will also come uh, then cape gemini will have its off campus in december then <clears throat> wipro will have its nlts hiring in december or, or in november right so do you want me to purchase courses separately for all of them so in that case i'll say join royal pass we all the company specific courses and amcat elitmus co cubes and all of them uh nano degree courses like c c++ python um uh then advanced courses like front end back end artificial intelligence data science all of these things that are available on prep and star we make a package of all of these things that are ava available today and would be available tomorrow and we call this course up uh, royal pass course right so apart from uh, you know rather than buying prime video courses individually you can buy all of them together so that would be one way um uh, i'd say if you were preparing for infosys already 
nothing has changed it is just that new topics are coming uh, in fact uh, there's only one new topic i'll say to be honest that is pseudo code uh, the the uh, problem or, or that is the puzzle section was already there which was obviously taught in our online classes previously as well right so that is something that you need to focus upon so all the really best one more thing is the top three comments of every video get our prime video courses of their choice completely free. So you can ask your doubts in the comment section. Uh, you can, you know, tell your tell us your experience with Prep and Star. So, you know, we'll choose the best three comments and we'll give them our prime video online classes completely free. Thank you. All the all the best and uh, hope that you get selected in Infosys.